So on another video, people were asking me if I was Filipino. People ask me in a bunch of random comments if I'm Filipino all the time. And I'm not gonna lie, in high school, people actually thought I was. A lot of the Asian people really liked me. Now I never really understood why. And then uh, someone just told me one time, oh yeah, you look Filipino. And then I started staring at my face really hard. I'm like, I do look somewhat Asian somehow. Just like anybody, I was very curious. So I decided to take a DNA test and the results are shocking. No, but in all seriousness, obviously from looking at these results, I can say I can be from almost any part of the world if I really, really wanted to say that. Uh, these results showed me a lot more than I was expecting. But from this one specifically, I'm everything, but I'm mostly one thing. I'm just going to show you guys the results. Let's get into it. So I'm just going to go ahead straight off the bat. I was born in California, boys. I am born and bred Californian. I did not jump over the border to get here. I was born and raised. My family, on the other hand, are from Mexico, specifically where my grandmother is from Jalisco. She's actually from this tiny little town. Let's see if I can even find it. I don't think I'm going to find it. Wait, here it is, guys. I found it. I totally found it. This tiny little town right here. Osto Topaquillo. Osto Topaquillo. This is exactly where my grandma grandma and my mother were born. So just sort of preference, you can't even see it on the map if you're too far. It's right there. There's Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Can't even say it. Jalisco, Mexico. So they made a long journey over here, all the way over here, and somehow got across this border. Uh, my mom tells me the story all the time. She was put in the trunk of a car, which is hilarious. She was young, and my grandmother swam somehow. So I don't know how you make it a swimming part of this area to get over there. That's how we got here. My dad, born in California, so not much history there, but his dad came from Mexico. Don't know how. All right, so here we go. We are here on 23andMe. This is where my ancestry, I did my test. As you can see here, I'm mostly one thing, but if you look at this little slither, I am a bunch of random crap. So I might be something that you guys are, even if it's just a tiny percentage, I am a mutt. And if you look at the map, it's literally highlighting everything I am. So I can easily say I'm from almost everything in the world. I am definitely not from Australia. So that would have been really cool. Or New Zealand. That kind of sucks. I am not from Northern Africa, boys. But look where I'm from. I got some percentage from it, baby. We from Chad, homie. It's all good. I be talking ghetto sometimes. This, this is why. So we are not at all from North Africa. But all that other part of Africa, we could be from any of that spots. Uh, Europe pretty much shows that I'm a lot of a bunch of stuff from here. And then look at this, guys. I actually, Filipinos, baby. You guys think I'm Filipino? That's because I'm a percentage from there. Maybe. We're going to look at the percentage right now. And then, of course, America, North and South. So now let's go ahead and dive down to the percentages of what these actually are. Because it's not a lot for a lot of these. But it's still cool that I might have a little percentage from one of these. Or all of these. So let's just get it out of the way. The biggest 50%. I am 50% of this is Indigenous American. Which is Native American. So I am 50%. Almost. I am 0.1% away from being... 50% Native American for the indigenous to the Americans. So at any point, I am from anywhere right here. 50% of my DNA is from any of this. Native Americans were there before Columbus came and killed us all. Suggests that I am 50% Nueva America. USA, Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rican, Belize, Grenada, Peru. Peru, Brazil, Argentina. I mean, this is, wasn't shocking to me though. I was pretty much accept, expecting this. We were the first two Americas. Uh, we came apparently from either Central Asia, migrated down South. All right. And then the second biggest one, which should not be shocking to anybody, 36.6%. It says Southern European. So pretty much any of this right here, but then it breaks it down even more. Um, so Southern European includes Iberian, Italian, the Balkan Peninsula, as well as the islands of Malta, Mediterranean Sea. Um, but that percentage is technically only point 0.08%. So I am 0.08% anything from here. But the percentage of that 36% Spanish and Portuguese, not surprising. That is the other big blue part of my DNA. 35.8% Spanish and Portuguese. So of course, when the Spanish came down to America, colonized us, that's why the native, the Portuguese, Spanish, mixing together. That's the majority of what I actually percentage percent. Not surprising. Mexican, of course. Mestizo. So after that, guys, the next biggest thing that I am which was shocking. I was like, all right, so obviously I was gonna be Native American, wasn't shocking. And then of course I knew I was gonna be from Spain, Portuguese. Then after that, that's when it gets a little interesting. I am 3%, boys, 3% West African. That's right, baby. I am 3% from Africa. I mean, I think that's enough if you guys know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I ain't even gonna say it, but you know what I'm saying. Total, I am technically 4% Sub-Saharan Africa. Almost five. The biggest percentage of African I actually am is Sen Gambian and guinea so this little part right here i am two percent i was not expecting to have any percentage from africa at all i thought that was pretty cool after that it breaks it down to more small percentages which is 
almost 1% Nigerian. I am 0.7%, so that's kind of cool. Then I am almost half of a percentage of Angolan Congolese. So the, from the Democrat of Congo and Angola, almost 1%, 0.5%. I mean, that's so crazy to think that I have some type of ancestor who came from this spot right here at some point, which is crazy. Then I have a combined 0.4% from just any part of this area that they could not figure out, which is fine. And another 0.4% from pretty much all of sub-Saharan Africa that they could not pinpoint exactly where it's at. So I could be from anywhere here too. I had an ancestor at one point from somewhere around there. I also am 1.1%, I don't know what this is, Ashkenazi Jewish. I know I was going to be Spanish and Portuguese, but not 1.1% Ashken. Okay, I can I can see the two words that I I see where they come from. I don't understand now. Oh, well, I'm 1.1% of that. Poland, Ukraine, Lithuania, Republic of Belarus, Romania, Moldova, Hungary. At one point, I had ancestors somewhere around there. That's kind of crazy. So I am a mutt, like I said, a mix of everything. And then if we go over here to Asia, I am 1.1% Northern Asian. So I am 1.1% of, it says mostly North Asia, but in reality, it actually says Mongolian and Manchurian. 1.1% of this bad boy. So it's kind of crazy to think I'm from Mongolia. I had ancestors from Mongolia. Those are probably the people who went to America. At some point in history, I don't know. And time. Doesn't give you the time, which I wish would be I wish they would. That'd be pretty cool. So I got some of that percentage up inside me. <laughs> and then this is it, boys. For all the Filipinos, I am 0.6% Filipino and Austrian Austronesian? I can't even pronounce it. Almost 1%, baby. So when you be like, hey yo, Frank, you Filipino? Yeah, homie. I'm almost 1%, which is cool. Cause I actually visited the Philippines. I don't even know what year that was, but it's easily probably my most favorite country I've ever been to ever I love the Philippines I love the people there I love the city just the culture the food Philippines if you have not been there you gotta try it this is easily my favorite country I've ever been I haven't been that many countries anyway but Philippines I love the Philippines the water crystal clear warm I loved it yeah after that I'm 1.4% just broadly East Asian and indigenous American so that is just look at this it literally highlights all of like North America all Americas and then like all of Asia so and then Madagascar it's not gonna pinpoint this like extra 1.5% that I have so but then like they have this other area that's called traces of ancestry and it pretty much will make it so that everything else in the world is that so like if you look at this broadly Western Africa and North Africa would be that any of these countries that's not showing on the map for me. So I have trace ancestries of 0.4% from anywhere in the Western Asian and North African countries. It's so minuscule, apparently they can't pinpoint exactly where it is. And then it also says I have another 0.2% from North Africa, almost 0.6%, sorry, from any part of this area. And if you click on this one, broadly Central and South Asia. So it would be the green area. So pretty much I would actually have 0.3% from anywhere here. It's so small though. And it's apparently trace ancestry that they can't pinpoint that either. If you had all of it highlighted, I'm pretty much everything in the world. So this is the what they initially show me on the map. But when you have those little traces of ancestry added, it'll highlight all this. Highlight all this. I guess the only place it would not highlight is Australia and New Zealand. And I have 3.6% unassigned. So, still trying to figure that out. Whatever that means. Another cool thing about this place is it actually tells you how much Neanderthal you have. There's apparently 2,872 variants that you can have from. And I had 252 of them. I have 2% Neanderthal DNA. 2, less than 2%, sorry. And they say, apparently, it makes me less likely to have a fear of heights. But that is bullshit. Because I am afraid of heights. Being more likely to sweat during a workout. Who doesn't sweat? And being less likely to blush easily. I think I'm too brown to see the blush anyway. Then it actually goes your traits uh, depending on your DNA it shows how much percentage of most likely what you have or what you do not have so I have a 59% chance that I have little or no back hair and when I checked last time I checked I have none and I still don't so it's almost 6% that I don't have that bald spots baby thank goodness 77% chance that I do not have bald spots and I do not so thank God I wear this hat because my hair is long and I don't comb it because I'm lazy but I have no bald spot Full of hair. Dad's full of hair. Grandpa was full of hair. Never gonna lose my hair, hopefully. Knock on wood. Cheek dimples. 57% that I do not have them. I do not. Never had them. Don't think I'm gonna have them anytime soon. Cleft chin. 68% that I do not have. And I do not have that. Dandruff. 73% chance that I have it. Or have had it. And that is 100% true. I get dandruff way too much and I hate it. And I don't understand why. But apparently it's genetically predispositioned uh earlobe detached so you have the ones that are attached on and then the ones that are sorry these are the detached one and these are the ones that are attached mine are detached Attach earlobes i don't even know whatever early hair loss 64 percent chance you will not experience any hair loss or thinning before age 40 baby let's go and i ain't got that so we chilling i already knew what was gonna happen i saw my daddy i saw my grandpa none of these fools got it 
and I don't, thank God. And so all you uh, people who lose hair, I'm so sorry, guys. This is not funny, I understand. Earwax, that's another weird thing. Apparently it's wet and sticky. 93% chance it's wet and sticky. Um, then it went to my eye color. It's interesting to see that I could have had a bunch of different colors. Obviously blue and greenish blue were not very gonna happen, but I had a solid 1%, it could have been green. Solid. Or even dark hazel or light hazel. Nine, four percent. Even light brown, 11. But no, just like most Mexicans. 75% chance dark brown. That's what it is. My eyes are dark brown. We got finger length ratio, which I don't even know why this is a thing, but chances you ring your finger is longer than your index finger. Let me see if I actually have it straight. I don't know how to hold it straight. Oh, it is. This finger is supposed to be just a little bit longer than this finger. Right here. I don't even know why that's a thing. Whatever. Freckles, few if any. I have no freckles, so. Photo bleaching. Now, this one I was kind of sad because my brother has this. When his hair is in the sun for long periods of time, it becomes like gold light brown. It's kind of crazy. I do not have that. 59% chance you do not have experience hair bleaching, photo bleaching, which I thought would have been tight if I can get that, but apparently not. That kind of sucks. Texture. Now, this is, as you can see, it's my hair is just straight, straight and plain, straight and thick, and that's it. Nothing else. And I'm sad to see that I could have had a 40% chance of at least some type of wave because my brother has big curls. 2% chance. He had a 2% chance. His mom, my mom and dad the same. He had 2% chance to get them big curls and he got it. I did not get that. I got the straight, plain, boring, not curly hair. I had a 50% chance of getting anything else, but no. I had to get that bullshit hair, whatever. For all you guys who like your straight hair, that's, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's cool. Lighter, dark hair. I mean, my hair is dark as it come. I was a hairy ass baby. 55% chance I had a lot of hair which I did. I like this, this is kind of funny. Red hair, right? So I had a 99% chance I did not have it, but I had that 1% that I could have had red hair, boys. Red hair, imagine I could have been a ginger. That would have been badass. Skin pigmentation, uh, light brown, which is what I am. I mean, I think that's what I am. I don't even know. Stretch marks. I do not have stretch marks, boy. Let's go. And I don't have them yet, even to this day. So it's pretty nice. Okay, this is kind of weird. And I don't know if you guys have this, but toe length ratio. So your big toe is longer than your smaller toes. Or your middle toe right next to your big toe is actually longer than your big toe. I don't know why we have that, but I have that. 61% chance that I have that. And I have that. And I thought that was always weird once I found out that that's not normal. Whatever. Unibrow. 55% chance that I have little to no unibrow. And I don't. I, mean, I don't think so. I don't think I do. I barely have any hair for brows, for that matter. And then a widow's peak. I have chance to have a widow's peak. I do not have a chance to have a widow's peak. Which you can see, like I said. I'm sure I'll start to have some hair receding like a normal person with age. But yeah, so when we look at this globe map, when they say, oh, where are you from? What's your ancestors from? I could be like, I'm from planet Earth. That's where I'm from. That's where my people are from. Oh, actually, never mind. I take it back because I, I can't say I'm from Australia. I have no ancestors from Australia, Papua New Guinea, or New Zealand. So my bad. Other than those three places, I could be like, yeah, for Earth, anywhere in the world, just choose any spot you want. I got an answer so I was born there. Most likely, I don't know. That's what 23 me says. So there you go, guys. Now you guys know that I am uh, from everywhere. Mostly Spanish, uh, mostly Native American to the Americas. And then I'm sprinkled with everything else in the world except Australia. But I am almost 5% African, so I'm just saying, boys. I'm just saying. Anyways, comment down below, guys, uh, where you guys are from, what your percentage. Maybe you guys have some cool tests. Maybe we might even be related, guys. You don't even know. I'm from everywhere, so my ancestors at one point came from everywhere in the world, so. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It helps the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.